Hello, Pip Crew, and welcome back to the channel. So if you guys were tracking our social media on mine, on Gamer Muscles, on Race Beyond Matters, and MSIMS, you know we spent the whole entire weekend over at the MSIM facilities in Portugal. While we were there, we did try to steal a whole pallet of pedals and give them out to all of you guys for free, but unfortunately we were apprehended and it made us and it took them away from us, but we managed to take a set for us so let's get this unboxing video before they realize it and come after me. And yeah, let's get to it. So when you buy the whole entire kit, you get four different boxes. So I'm gonna go through each box, I'm gonna open it up, show you what's on the inside of each one, what it entails, what kind of equipment and tools and everything that you get with it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this box. This one's the heaviest. Uh, let me grab my knife. Ugh. All right, should be good. All right. So, nice. So what I like from the get-go is you have the box that where the equipment is inside of but then they put it inside these protective boxes to make sure that if you want to display these boxes somewhere in your room, wherever, you know, you can keep them nice and without being torn up and destroyed through transit. So right here, we've got the universal interface plate. So this is where you're gonna mount all your pedals onto. So open this up and put it to the side. And this thing is very, very heavy. All right, so you get the instructions. Um, this right here is the top plate. It says Talento and the MSIM logo right here. Uh, you get a bunch of screws and bolts. What I really like about this is, I'm gonna open up and show you guys here real quick. So if you guys have a profile rig, they include these T-nuts right here. So you can go ahead and already install the pedal plate already straight onto your, uh, your aluminum profile rig. And it's got all the screws right here. Uh, and everything is packed very, very well. Uh, so here we have all the spacers you would need. Uh, so you can put uh, use them on below the plate if you want to lift up your plate above your uh, pedal plate for your aluminum profile rig and also to raise this plate up above the normal base plate. Put these right here. And then you've got the main base plate. This thing is very, very heavy. Um, and from the get-go you can see all right, so here are the holes to where you can mount it to your actual rig. And then these slots right here, this is where you can mount your pedals and you can slide them left and right to just the distance between your pedals. And then right here, same thing with your heel plate. Uh, you just got the slots right here so you can move it back and forth to make sure. So, I mean, every driver has different size feet. So if you're small feet, big feet, these sh shouldn't be a big deal for you guys uh, to configure it to make sure you sit comfortably in your rig. Uh, but it's nice, it's black, uh, it's very heavy, so it's steel, and then it's coated, and then it's uh, anodized in black for, to make sure it looks pretty. So essentially what you'll do is, I'm not gonna put it all together just yet, but here's your base plate will go right here, and then you can align your pedals uh, right behind it. Very, very nice. And this is again, this is made out of metal, uh, steel metal too. Uh, stainless steel, of course. Very, very nice. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you guys unboxing what entails all the equipment. And then at the very end of the video, I'll have everything put together for you guys to show off the pedals, give you like my first initial impressions. Um, yeah, uh, 
Let's put these to the side. This plate's heavy, but I'm gonna put it on my desk. Next thing we're gonna open up, we'll open up this box. This one's not as heavy, but it's got the Ensim tape on it. All right, and in here we have the throttle and the brake uh, pedals. This is how the brake and throttle pedal box looks like. It's got MSIM on the side and then on the back explaining what these are and what they look like right here. And then on the side, Talento, which is Portuguese for talent. Let's take the cover off. What I really like what MSIM does too, so right here they got the scan code. So what this tells them, they actually keep track of every single pedal and they have a database. So the when they, when, when they scan it, it registers what pedal goes into what box. And then um, that also keeps track of, so if you have any issues with your pedals, uh, you can just tell them what the number is and it will, look, it will show up in their database. Everything's neatly, neatly stored. So you can see right here to make sure none of this stuff slides around. But yeah, so, uh, so yeah, each, uh, each piece of device has, a, has a, a barcode or a scan code on it. So that way if something happens, when you call them, if you're needing help for support, they immediately know when the pedal was manufactured, who built it, what, and everything. So that way they know they can keep track of statistics and trends to know, you know if something happens with the potentiometer or within the build uh, of the pedals themselves, they go back and trace who made the pedals, when it was made, what devices and equipment was installed on it. Uh, and that helps them again, build a trend. If there is uh, any sort of failure, they know they can pinpoint exactly what was the cause of it. All right, um, so here, Let's take out this small box. So this box right here, I'm gonna put my cutter. All right, so in here, you get more bolts and T-nuts. Uh, you get a wrench. You get two Allen keys. Uh, another uh, elastometer. You get uh, your you get the USB cable, so you can plug into the back of the pedal, then in, into your PC. And then this tool, which I'll show you guys, this is a tool for if you guys want, don't want to use your hands, you can use it to adjust the settings on the pedals. Let's get rid of this box. All right, so let's take a look. Oof, these pedals are heavy. So here is the gas pedal. See, it's got a nice long uh, plate on the front and that's more, that's for comfort. So you can sit there and move around uh, your foot. Uh, if you're a sock, it's very flat. So if you're a sock user, you can still stay comfortable with it. Um, there's a cable where from the potentiometer it goes, plugs into the brake pedal where the electronics are stored at. So yeah, you can see right here, it's got a very thick spring right here. And what I really enjoy with these pedals is how quick you can adjust them. So all you really gotta do is, this is where you can adjust the throw or to make it harder or softer. This makes it a little bit harder. So you can adjust it right here on this side right here. But also, and I'll show you what this, how this tool works. Uh, using the, I'll show you what the wrench. Uh, so use the wrench. So on the back, 
there's a cam. And this is used to add preload to your pedals if you want to make them stiffer or not. And there's three different settings on them. So you got this one, two, and three. So this right here, it will add preload onto the spring uh, to stiffen up your pedal if you're a person that likes stiff pedals. So you can go all the way soft and you can go all the way stiff and it gives you a lot, a lot of stability. And then here at the bottom too, you've got another set of adjustments you could do. And this will adjust the throw of your pedals. So you got adjustability here, you've got adjustability here. If you want to uh, raise or lower the angle of your pedals. Uh, and then right, these slots right here is how you bolt on the pedals to either your plate that's on your aluminum rig profile or onto the base plate that I just showed you guys earlier. So, and then you, you, know, you can use the Allen wrenches to do all the adjustability. And it looks like, so these bolts right here are Loctite bolts. So you have to make sure that they don't get loose over time. And then on the side, you can see right here where they've added a plate that says Talento MSIM. Very, very nice. Let's put that right here. Now we got the brake system. Ugh. So here is the same thing. You've got another flat plate, but they also include another plate too uh, with more holes. So if you wanna adjust how your pedal is uh, placed, you can do that going up, going up or down. Cause I got two bolts right here with these holes so you can move it and put it wherever you want. Uh, and I believe you can also put it sideways too if you want a wider uh, brake pedal. Get this out of the way. So like I said, you could, so I didn't show you guys, but on this pedal, so you can either use your hand, just pull this back a little bit, move it up or down, or you can use this tool right here and you push it back and you can move your pedals the way you want. So this is really cool that they included this uh, to help you with adjustment of your pedals. Same thing, uh, really thick metal on the brake pedal to make sure that it doesn't uh, bend or anything like that. You've got uh, same thing, adjustability if you wanna raise and lower the angle of your pedals. And here, right below here is your electronics for your pedal. So we got one slot right here then you got another slot right here, so you can plug in either uh, the brake, or I'm sorry, the gas pedal or the clutch pedal. And you also kind of, you, and they did this this way, so one, they can save space on where the electronics and the cabling is, but also if you want to invert your pedals, you don't have to worry about make, moving your cables over with your with your gas or clutch. So there, you can sit there and reverse and move them, and electronics will automatically recognize it. Very very cool design. And to show you guys how quick it is, so you've got two elastometers right here that come normally with it. They come, uh, they go up, I can't remember which one, but they did say they can handle 100 kilograms of force. But it's very, very cool on how you can adjust these pedals. So right here, you've got these two uh, things that you can rotate. So you sit there and loosen them up. All right, you pull this pedal back. And there you go. So you got this, this is what secures uh, the, uh, the elastometer into the back. You got a spring. If you wanna add some, a uh, little bit of flexibility to your pedal, uh, a guide right there. Then you've got, you can take this out. So you can do that. You can swap it out with this. Put the springs in. Plus, oh, I'm sorry, you gotta do this first. So you've gotta take out these two plastic parts. So these are how they designed these was, so elastometers, they have a point of failure. And if you squeeze them too much, they start to bend and warp and bubble. So they, they built these so you can put them on inside the elastometer to make sure that you never get to the point where they fail. So there you go, Let me slide this in here. Guide, the spring, oh, put this back on. There we go, and we just tighten it up. All right, and we're good to go.
Yep. And it's very nice and stiff. And again, you can adjust uh, how everything you want. Uh, you can adjust how much preload you want. Uh, so if you're a person that likes, you know, five pounds of preload or 10 pounds, you can sit there and do that by further tightening these, which add pressure onto the spring to add, a little, add more pressure. Or if you're, somebody, if you're somebody that likes to have a little bit of play on your, on your brake, just as you would like in a real car, you can leave it a little bit loose. You can do, you can do this. Or if you want, some, if sometimes you're a person that wants a very, very stiff bake, brake and like to rest your foot on the plate, now it doesn't move at all. All right, so we got that. All right, next up, we have this little box. This box is your brake performance kit. Again, very nice box. Again, if you're the type of person that likes to display your boxes, you can do that uh, to make sure that those protective boxes, make sure that those don't get ruined. All right, so here we open up this box. We get more instructions. Move these a little bit to the side. So in here, they have more elastometers. They give you a lot of different uh, combinations for you to use. Another red one. We got another stiff black one. And then what I really like with these pedals there's a lot of cardboard. <laughs> um, is they give you these two plates, and I'll show you guys them in a little bit. But look at the elastometers first. So these are very high-grade elastometers. They're Fibroflex, which are uh, are made in Germany. Uh, they're not your cheap China knockoffs. But what I really like, again, likes to make sure that you have elastometers that don't fail. Now these are made out of metal, uh, aluminum. And what they do is they're a little bit shorter uh, than the actual osteometers themselves. And the reason they do that is again, they don't want you to exceed the parameters of how much these can flex. Because if you, if you exceed the standards of it, again, they'll warp, they'll bubble, and they'll end up failing on you. So this is here for your safety to make sure that these last for a very, very long time. So in the brake performance you get, kit, you get, uh, you get nine uh, on top of on the brake where you get two. So you have large, large combinations you can use with these pedals uh, for how you want your stiffness of your pedal. For me, I really like the combination of these two, uh, these three right here, when I put them, use them when I was at Imsen. And this really allowed me to, like essentially you're having three stages of braking. Uh, and it really helped me maximize my trail braking when I was driving the cars there. All right. So these plates, these plates are very, very cool. And I'll show you guys why. Um, so these plates are designed to go on the gas pedal and the brake pedal. And what they do is sometimes when you're racing, your foot tends to slide around and slip. So what you can do is you take this pedal, you can, it's got multiple slots, again, for a lot of adjustability, and you can sit there and mount them on the back. I mean, they'll go right here, but essentially what will happen is you can rest your foot and have a lot of adjustability when you wanna move your foot left ways, especially like in long endurance stints where you wanna move your foot around to make sure you have to wake it up, it doesn't fall asleep, it doesn't cramp up on you. So this makes sure that your foot you can slide your foot around and still maintain complete control of your uh, uh, of your throttle application. So this is with the long one. This one right here goes on the back of your brake. So essentially, again, it goes back here. And what it does, I'm gonna kind of show you guys. 
So you have, you have your brake pedal, you have your gas, and then this plate goes right here. So what you're essentially doing is, one, you're protecting your foot from falling off, but then as you're applying your gas, if your foot slips, this prevents your foot, if you're wearing shoes or, uh, or socks, it prevents your foot from going behind the brake pedal and you having to end up messing up your lap time or going off track because your foot got stuck uh, behind the brake pedal. So this is really, really welcome from them. Again, like already you're having a lot, a lot of different kinds of adjustability with these pedals. And uh, one of the things when I was talking to them is they wanted to make sure that they built pedals that were for the SIM driver. They wanted to make sure that you could customize these pedals for you and not you having to adapt yourself to the pedals. So that is a very, very more warm welcome from them because I don't know a lot of pedal manufacturers that do that. Well, a lot of times you're often stuck within the limitations of their pedals. But here, they make sure that you get offered complete customizability and make sure you adjust these pedals to your driving style. All right, so we've got one more box. Let's open this one up. All right, here we have the clutch pedal. All right, same thing, it's got Talento on the side. On the other side, it's got the Simpit, or the MSIM Simpit. This is the Simpit. But no, this is the MSIM logo on their pedal plate. And on the back, it explains to you the Talento Sim pedal, and then what Talento means. And the really cool, really big thing is why they called them the Talento pedals is they know that everybody has talent. You just don't have the equipment to reach your maximum your, your maximum potential. So they wanted to make sure that everybody here had full, uh, have full, it can, you know, have, it can release the full potential of their driving with the amount of customizability you could do with these pedals. All right, so here you got another piece of paper more cardboard to make sure the pedal stays in place. And here we've got our clutch pedal. Is there anything else in here? Yep, more nuts and bolts. Throw this box this side. All right, so here we have our clutch. It looks a lot like the gas pedal. Uh, you've got your potentiometer here with a cable that plugs into the back of the brake pedal. And same thing, here you've got the same kind of adjustability to your clutch. So you can adjust it here, up and down. It's got four different grooves where you can add uh, more throw to it if you want. Again, you can adjust the, the angle of your pedals. And here you can adjust the throw of your front pedal. And then a very hefty spring right here. And then you've got another cam system. So if you want to adjust the preload onto your uh, thing, onto your clutch, you can do that to make it harder you know, or softer, whichever way you want your car to feel like. It's got three different settings for their cam. All right, faceplate, nice and flat. Uh, so again, like you could take, the, if you don't like this faceplate on your clutch, you can take it off, uh, put on the brake and put the brake one on here. You know, the options are very, very limitless. I can't really do it. I don't think I can do it here, but you can feel that. Uh, it really to give you the real, the feel of a clutch, which I really, really like. All right. So there you go. So here we have the clutch, the brake the gas, you got all the accessories that come with the brake performance kit. And then we showed you guys the plate. I'll pull out the plate real quick. And this all mounts onto here. All right, like this. And then you can put your pedals however way you want.
again, so like, so what I'll do is I'll quickly put everything together. I'll show you guys the final product. You know, we'll give it a good 360 just to go everything over everything again one more time. All right, so here we are. I've got everything fully assembled for, for you to take a look at. What I really, really like is the amount of adjustability you can do with this set fully put together. So you can move the heel plate back and forth, the brakes, the clutch, the gas, you can move them side to side, up, back and forth. So you, you can customize it however you drive. I've already got the, the foot protector for the gas and the brake put on, so I'll move it to the side so you guys can see it. So right here, there you go, you got the foot protector for the gas, right in the back, that way your foot doesn't get caught behind the brake pedal. Again, like showing you guys how much back and forth you can adjust these. The same thing with the gas, with the brake and the gas, and then the side to side. Here you can see, move it a little bit more. So you can see right here, this is how the gas pedal connects to the back of the brake. And then right below is electronics that are protected by the thick steel. And then rotate it a little bit more. Same thing, the clutch plugs into the other side to make sure there's no cables that get in the way. This way again. Yeah, so overall, when I got to test out these pedals at their facilities in Portugal, it, they were a blast to drive, drive with. They were fun to put together. So these pedals are out now. You can, for our North American drivers, you can buy them from rickmutech.com for about 790 bucks. Uh, for our Europe, mainland European drivers, they're available from Simneeds for about 699 euro. And then for our UK drivers, they're available from Demi Tweaks for 595 pounds sterling. So yeah, uh, I would say these pedals so far, with the way they drive, they feel, they're very, very high quality at an affordable price. I will release a video showcasing the whole in review of me using them out on the track, putting them on my rig, and showing you the amount of customizability you can do. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe to let us know that you, know, you like our content and we want to show you guys more of it. Uh, until next time, guys, I hope to see you out there racing. Later.